Hey guys, what's going on Imaginary World? Uh, today I just want to show you guys how to make your drums hit a lot harder using a built-in Ableton software called Drum Bus. You can use this to shape your drums and almost tune them in a way as well and there's just a lot you can do and I just want to show you guys how to use it so let's go ahead and jump right in. Alright so I got Ableton pulled up here and um, here's the project file of the beat that I uploaded yesterday. I didn't use drum bus on this but I just want to show you guys like within a beat context how you can use drum bus to make your drums hit harder. First thing that I would do is I would grab all of my drum sounds which I have pretty much right here. You click one, hold shift, click the bottom one, select them all. And then from here, you're gonna go ahead and group tracks. Uh, you can also do command G for this if you're on Mac. Um, I think it's control G if you're on Windows. So what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna go and you're gonna go into your audio effects. And inside the audio effects is the thing we're looking for, which is called drum bus. So once you find it, drag it over to your group, and here we are. So, all right, so first things first. Um, what this plugin does is it kind of just glues everything together and makes it feel tighter, um, and you can do some transient shaping and that kind of thing. And then there's some other features in here which are really cool. Let's go ahead and just start from the left side of the plugin. Now what Trim does is, is it's basically your input gain, and you can't push it above zero, but you can actually take it away. So like. Let's say you know, you're doing some gain staging and you need to pull the, pull the gain down. So what the compressor does is it applies a fixed compressor. You can't change any settings here, but what it does is it's, uh, it's compressing before the distortion. So if we can, you're, the only control you have is the trim. So let's go ahead and listen. So we can, Kind of mess with that to trim the compressor to um, kind of get the sound you want. Now what the drive option does is it lets you introduce some distortion, some intensity to it. And we have our soft, medium, and hard settings here. So if we're, if we're looking at the soft distortion, this is a wave shaping distortion. It's going to be not as aggressive. Um, and then we basically just get more and more aggressive as we go down the list. So the medium is going to be a limiting distortion and hard is going to be a clipping distortion with bass boost. So let's go ahead and hear how these sound with some context. So we'll start with soft. And as you get up there, it's gonna start, you know, distorting more and more. Um, well, let's go ahead and hear what medium sounds like. So yeah, you can drive them pretty hard. And then let's go ahead and hear the hard setting. So yeah, you just, it's just clipping, that kind of stuff. All right, so what the crunch is gonna do is it's gonna adjust this distortion, basically. It, it's, it, it's adjusting, it's adjusting this distortion specifically for the mid frequencies. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna grab a spectrum, see if we can actually see what's going on here. So let me go ahead and pull that up, so. You can definitely hear it, and you could honestly see it. Even the 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 mids are getting they're getting pushed up a little bit, but they're also you can you can hear it's like there's a lot more going on there as far as distortion goes. Um, so with the crunch, you can just dial that in to where you would want it. Again, I'm not going to push that too hard. Um, I kind of like how it sounds right about there. Um, and this is all stuff that you would want to be doing in context of the whole mix. So you wouldn't want to have your drums soloed when you're doing the mixing. I'm just doing that so you can kind of hear exactly what's happening. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next setting, which is damp. So damp is really just a low pass filter or high cut if you prefer. Um, it's just going to filter out the high frequencies. Starts at 9.2 kilohertz. Um, honestly, that's a little bit too much for me. I usually just dial this right back up to 20. And then if I need to, if I really need to, I can cut some stuff out. But basically if we're listening,
But honestly, a lot of times I'm just going to leave that to an EQ and I'm just going to turn it all the way back up to 20 kilohertz. All right, so now we're onto this transient. And this is probably one of the most powerful parts of drum bus. Now, if we take transient and we turn it up, well, what we're doing is we are adding some attack to the sound. But not only that, we are also increasing the sustain of the sound. So if you want it to be really punchy, what you actually want to do is you want to turn the transient knob the other direction to the negative side. And this is going to make your, your um, drums hit really hard because what they're doing is they're hitting and they're cutting right out. And what that's going to do is that's going to create some punch. So let's go ahead and hear how that sounds. First, we'll go positive, then we'll go negative. All right, now let's go ahead and listen to what the negative sounds like. So you can hear it's, it's adding that initial attack, but what it's doing is it's immediately going away. All right, so now we're gonna move on to this last section here, which is boom, the frequency, and decay. So what the boom knob is gonna do is it's gonna adjust the amount of low end enhancement. So if we turn it up, and there it goes. So it kind of just like, it honestly turns your kick into a little bit of an 808. Not really something that I'm looking for from the drum bus, but it is pretty cool nonetheless. And you can actually tune it. So if we turn it back up, and you can see here with your frequency adjustment, you can see exactly which note you're selecting. So this song is in F minor, so if we take the frequency and we take that down to F, and from here, we're now playing an F, which is in key to our song. So what you can do is you can turn this decay down. And then if we actually click this little headphone, you can hear exactly what it's adding. I'm gonna take the boom down a little bit. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna turn it up so you can hear it better. So we're adding that note, that F. So now what we'll do is we'll take the boom down. I just want a little bit of a punch. And what that's gonna do is it's actually gonna kind of tune our drum for us. So if we hear it. Yeah, and uh, other than that, you just have your dry wet knob to adjust how much of this effect is um, being used. And then there's the output, so you can control the volume. All right, so let's go ahead and hear how it sounds in context. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. That covers drum bus. So yeah, if you guys learned something, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like for me. Really appreciate that, really helps out. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one.